okay hello guys today we are going to see how we can configure and use tomcat server in eclipse so here i start with eclipse this is my eclipse which is started and when it is started it by default shows you the welcome page which you can see where we have the option for overview samples tutorials what's new first of all we need to change the perspective according to what kind of program or application development we are going to use in the current view of the eclipse like uh, you can see here where there are various perspective related to short of application development like uh, pure java application web application enterprise applications uh, when you click on this windows menu you will get here a open perspective option there you can have lot of choices debug perspective where you can get, get lot of tools and various windows related to only debugging the application similarly we have java jpa resources and web application as well as for enterprise application we have a different perspective right now we are going to discuss how we can develop us or we can how we can configure tomcat apache tomcat with eclipse so that we can build web application so we are going to change our perspective into web so when i hit web you can see the lot of option which are related to only web technology based development is made available over here we have the project explorer we have the server explorer and we have the properties and rest of the window here is the editor where we we'll, we are going to write our code when we have an application first in order to configure servers like tomcat glassfish or oc4j kind of server or ibm webspace server for our application development related to web technology we have to simply add an entry in eclipse so that that server will be attached or embedded in eclipse for further future web development in using the eclipse tool so we click on this windows menu there you can see there is a preferences go with the preferences choice on the left side you will find a server option okay expand on it there you see run time environment click on it and here is the add button which gives you option for adding various kind of supported server which can be embedded in eclipse so we are going to choose here apache tomcat version 7.0 Uh, before doing this, we need to have downloaded the Apache Tomcat from the from their original website and extract it into a folder. So in my case, as you can see here, I have extracted and installed this. This is where I have extracted Apache Tomcat version 7.0. Okay, 7.1.4 and 7.0.23 both are available. Any of our choice we can use over here. So I'm going to use it, and it is in the home directory. and or you can say is the uh, like i'm using the fedora uh, version of linux so this is how my directory layout is it may differ uh, according to the operating system you have chosen like in case of mac or in windows you will get different layout okay so let's come here and we choose this option we hit next then we can see here the name of the server appears and we can leave it as it is or we can change it if you wish and here is the tomcat installation directory also known as catalina home directory click on the browse link here we come to the same home directory here that is in case my username 7.0.14 or 7.0.23 which i just showed you here you can still if you want the files view and you see here those are available so i choose here apache 7.0.2.3 and i click on the okay button then all set we are done like the default jre we have configured earlier in our eclipse is already linked over here you just need to hit the finish button and downcat is added okay further if you want to edit the properties we can do so by clicking on this edit link and change the make any necessary changes required click on okay and it is added now in order to make use of server like when you need to start it change the port number or configure it according to the application we have a server palette over here if this server palette is not available you can bring it back any time like it is available only when we have changed the perspective of our application from here into the web view like if it is not going to be web web it is going to be java perspective you can see that server option will not be available okay so this is not available so if it is not available you still we can access it or you can make it view over here by clicking on windows so view and choosing the server from the list if it doesn't appear comes to this come to this other option type the server and you can see the server and it can be added any window any palette can be added to any of the respective perspective but so perspectives are meant to for uh, this related application development like we are talking about web application so let's switch to web application and we can see the server is here just now we added or embedded this server to apache tomcat in eclipse and now we need to add it to the server's view of our or server window of our web application perspective so right click on it new server and here we choose again tomcat 7 and 
one th that we have embedded earlier is already taken its configuration files and things have been read over here so click on finish and you can see tomcat that will appear here in the servers view okay why i have added here so that i can easily man manage it and configure it like right click on it gives me the option for starting it publishing applications over there adding or removing applications like you can see here a lot of thing can be done okay so anyways right now i need to configure it so i double click on it or i click and open it you will see all the configuration related to this application server we have configured first of all the thing to be noted over here is that we can change the workspace location where our when we create an application in eclipse by default it will publish the particular specific application file like war file the deployment files are going to be published directly inside the workspace metadata it means that eclipse has created its own folder in which it has copied the minimal required file from the web server in order to work on the web application we can change it and we can overtake the tomcat installation also so that all the published file like for example i'm saying when you publish an application only the compiled version of the files are generated as an output and it is stored in the web apps directory of the tomcat if you want it to be stored in eclipse specific folder you can use it this workspace metadata if you want it to be stored in the tomcat direct installation directory where you have extracted your tomcat file you can use it or you can specify a custom location like i'm going to use a custom location i click on the browse button i navigate to my home directory i click on create a folder i write here eclipse tomcat 7 so i can like for example later on use it for viewing the logs and kind of thing we don't have to go for the metadata files or we don't have to search in the eclipse web apps directory and here you can if you wish you can change the port number also like for http by default 8080 port it you if you want you can change it over here and thing is like other options are available we are not concerned about it and here you click on the save button it is all set done now we can simply start our server and see this specific server related logs for starting the uh, tomcat server with eclipse okay <coughs> so it's the console window where you'll get the status of and it is saying starting servlet engine and kind of server startup here in 2376 milliseconds so it means server is started we can test it by clicking on the open web browser here we type http colon slash slash local host port number i have given was 8080 and this will show me apache tomcat the status 404 or whatever the home cage directory that is set in the server will be displayed to you. it means it is completely configured in eclipse okay that's all for today we will see some more applications later on in the coming series.